Cool. Fish on, guys. I was not expecting that hit there, guys. Fish on. Here we go, guys. Fish on, guys. That bass absolutely smacked it. Fish on, guys. <laughs> Out here in the middle of the bridge, you guys. Fish on, guys. Fish on, you guys. No way. What's up, you guys? I'm super excited about today. Today, I'm actually down here in Alabama at Lake Purdy. I'm visiting family this week. And so while I'm down here in Alabama, I always do some research, figure out a really cool place to go. Today, I'm actually here at the side of a bridge and I'm gonna be looking for anything that bites. So guys, I brought a lot of different things with me. Wish me luck, here we go. You guys, this is, uh, this is pretty sketchy. We are on the side of the road here, right where it drops down. So I'm actually gonna get this off the road. But you guys, if you didn't see how close that car was, it is very close. Guys, I brought these toughies down from uh, Brummett's Bait and Tackle in Hampton, Tennessee. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see how they do today on Lake Purdy. This lake is known for crappie, which is a, a really fun thing. On Wednesday, I'm gonna be taking a boat out, doing a little crappie fishing. But today, I just wanna do some bank fishing and have some fun. So I've got some live bait, I've got artificial, I've got all sorts of stuff. But one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start the day off by just throwing a simple balsa wood float. We're just gonna cast it right out there next to one of these little pylons, see if we've got any fish in the area. And guys, I don't have a ton of fishing experience on Lake Purdy. One thing I do know is that anytime you fish a body of water you're unfamiliar with, you need to find structure. And one of the best structures you can find is actually a bridge, okay? So guys, the one thing I'm noticing with this little crosswind we've currently got is it's really, really hard to keep this in the zone. Actually gonna switch it up. We're gonna go bobber list. We're gonna throw it in the same area and just see if we can get something by doing that. All right, you guys. So here we go with the bobberless approach. I think this will do a little bit better, though we'll see. All I'm gonna do is just put my finger on the line and see if we've got any bites here. Oh, fish on, guys. Just like that, took that bobber off. We got a fish on. Let me go ahead and get up, you guys. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Got a little bass down there, you guys. Let's go ahead and walk this down. Oof. I was not expecting that hit there, guys. <laughs> we can walk right down here to this bank. All right. So guys, our first fish of the day. Nice little large mouth. Not bad at all. Let's get that hook out. Barely hooked him, guys. Nice there on the corner of the lip. Heck yeah. And that's the good way to start there, right under the bridge. So guys, just like I said, whenever you don't know how to fish a spot, find structure. That's gonna be your number one thing. And let's go ahead and let this beauty go. So guys, as soon as I went with that bobberless approach, I let that fish just kind of swim down in there next to that column. That's when I got my first hit. So let's see if we can repeat that. See if we can get lightning strike twice here, guys. Fish on. Here we go, guys. Oh yeah. Oh, another bass. Heck yeah. He hit really good there. I felt the pop. Ahead and give this guy a nice little release in the water here. Here we go. <laughs> and off he goes. Just gonna grab my rods, grab my net, throw this stuff inside of my net. Good. Now we are ready to cross over to the other side. Okay, no one's coming, guys, which is good. There's a car. Ooh. Trying to be as quick as I can here, you guys, because there's just a lot of traffic that comes across this way. Oh. Okay, good. For some reason, mentally, once I get behind this rail, I feel better. So guys, we're literally just on the other side of the bridge, and let's do the same thing here. Let's see if we get some bites. Fish on guys, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> that bass 
absolutely smacked it. Heck yeah, I'm just gonna lift him, guys. Right up, Woo. another bass. It's a fun little spot for bass, guys. That was awesome. Guys, I felt him just absolutely smack it. Check out that beauty, guys. Another little bass here. We'll go ahead and give him a release. Here we go. <laughs> and off he goes. Cast it right over there and then we're gonna slowly jig it back. Let's see what happens here, guys. Oh, might have just had a little peck there, you guys. Yep. Fish on guys. No way. <laughs> Out here in the middle of the bridge, you guys. Oh, he just came off. Oh my goodness. Ah lost him. That was a nice fish, dang it. Gonna actually kinda, it's kinda nice, almost like a little recliner here, you guys. That's what I'm talking about. Fishing, just chilling on the bridge. Hard to beat the view. Are you kidding me? Nice little cove back in here. A little unnerving. As long as you don't think about the, the random cars that are like, you know, three and a half feet to your right, it's cool. So guys, I just want to take a moment and say thank you to everybody who has subscribed, liked, and commented on my videos. We are about 50 subscribers away right now from becoming monetized, which I'm super excited about. If you guys don't know what that means, it means that um, I will be getting paid now to make videos on YouTube after 50 more people subscribe to my channel. Uh, it seems like every day I'm gaining about four or five, so it's just a matter of time now, but I just want to say thank you to everybody. And um, I've got some big things planned for this coming year and the years to come. Um, there's just so many fishing adventures out there and I want to target as many types of fish as possible in East Tennessee, as well as random locations like the one I'm in today. So guys, thank you so much. Rude. Guys, thank you so much. It means a lot to me, and uh, I couldn't have done it without you. So, thank you. All right, you guys, so I switched to a new location, and as you guys can see, it's the same type of deal. We've got an old bridge here that cuts right across. We've also got a bridge right over there, and uh, we've got a few guys over here, so let's see how we do. Um, I'm excited about this second location, so let's get a toughie in the water, see what happens. Guys. There we go. All right, there you go, guys. So we've got a bass here. Heck yeah. So guys, check out that little large mouth right there. Nothing crazy, but we will take him. I got one quick fish. That was awesome. Um, guys, I want to finish out the day. I'm going to head back to that original bridge. There's just less people, and it feels like there's just a little bit more energy out there. So I'm going to head back to the other bridge. Finish out the day. Wish me luck. Here we go. I don't know, you guys. Hate to walk away right now, but oh, we're running out of time. Fish on, you guys. No way. No way. I was reeling it in, doing my thing, and all of a sudden this crappie hit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is just awesome. That is not a keeper by any means, but man, what a beautiful crappie, guys. Cannot believe I <laughs> caught this guy. Let's go ahead and put him in the water. <laughs> All right. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for me today. I had a lot of fun out here on Lake Purdy. If you guys are interested in watching one of my recent videos where I go to Boone Lake on my kayak and I try to catch big fish, check out the link above. And if you want to see the one before that where I go out on Boone Lake and catch a big striper, check out the link here. Till next time, tight lines.